Okay, Jay here, uh, and we're here to check out this SH Figure Arts Piccolo. Now, of course, we'll be reviewing this guy, and uh, let's get started, even though I kind of fubbed up the lines there in the beginning, but oh well, whatever. Um, as you can see, here's the Funimation sticker. Warning, choking hazard, small parts, la 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 blah blah blah. <laughs> uh, man, I'm all tongue-tied today, I'm sorry. Uh, Toei sticker. Tamashi Nation's logo, Bandai, Dragon Ball Z sticker, SH Figure Arts Piccolo, beautiful Piccolo right here, and uh, we have here, uh, what do we have here? We have Piccolo and this dot art that's become synonymous in a lot of these boxes. Side of the box again, with dot art of Piccolo, looking all serious. The top again, it just says Piccolo. The side, it's Piccolo. It says his name, it has him there in his little stance. The bottom of the box is Trigger Arts. Blue front logo, warning, yada yada yada. Go to the back of the box. Piccolo, SH Trigger Arts, will style heroic action. This is all Japanese, of course. Dragon Ball Kai logo. And all this uh, beautiful, interesting, factual, yada yada, whatever language it is. Um, this Piccolo is actually the first in the Dragon Ball line of the SH Figure Arts. This is the first one. So this is like the first one that they released under the Figure Arts banner, as you see. Um, so, anyways, enough about that. Let's go ahead and let's open this bad boy up. Alright, here we go. We have them opened up. As you can see, uh, it comes in two pieces. Uh, of course, this part... And then uh, the side over here, as you see, the badass cape. Um, here we have a uh, special beam cannon hand. Uh, this is the standard stern face he comes with. This is like, I guess, standard stern face with little um, turban wrap on top. I guess little charging... Charging, grunting, whatever you want to call it, face looking to the side. Of course, he comes with the uh, blaster hands, grab hands, and he comes with uh, cross arms, and then the top chest part for his cape or what have you. So, let's go ahead, let's check this guy out. Here we have Pickle out of the box, this beautiful figure, as we can see here. Beautiful paint. On the lines of the skin, with a little detail on the muscles on Piccolo. Beautiful, beautiful painting, beautiful sculpture on his face. Looks exactly like him. Amazing detail on his little booties or these little shoes that he wears that are in the make in, if you will. Just beautiful um, all around. Only complaint is the difference in paint of this main piece to the legs. I mean, it's not as noticeable in person, but definitely now that I'm here and I'm recording obviously on camera and I have it here in the light, it's definitely noticeable. Well, this is like a dull purple. This is more of a dull blue versus that purple. But, you know, it's not a deal breaker, but you know, it's not bad or whatever. Um, let's check out his articulation. Okay, for articulation. Standard neck joint. He will do. Full 360. Turn around. His neck. Actually, this one's really stiff, but it does move around. This neck part does move around, but it's incredibly stiff on this Piccolo figure. It's probably just mine. Um, doesn't have too much articulation to look up or down. Uh, moving on to the shoulder. Standard uh, shoulder joint. The SH Figure Arts. You see, little disjoint. Disjoint back in. Shoulder blade will move out. Look up like that. All the way down, up, 
We have the standard joint rig here at the bicep. At the elbow. At the wrist, as you can barely see. The wrist will do, full 360. And it will move like that. Same thing other the other side. Let's join in, let's join out. Go up. All the way around. God, this figure is stiff as hell. Bicep again. Full 360. Move at the elbow. Same thing with the wrist, full 360. And just like the other one, I'll move down like that. And a little bit of, you got this app crunch. It doesn't disjoint like all the other ones. This little wrap with the gi. It does move around a little bit. You will do full 360. Just join back in. Then the legs, standard thing at the hip, disjoint. Let's join back in. This joint, join back in. We'll move up. Move slightly back. You can do this. See that part of the joint? You can do that on the other side as well. Move back in. Move back in. Down right here to the knee. It'll bend like that. And it's the standard little bug where it gets caught. See where it gets caught there. Come back in. Go down to the ankle. His ankles. Up and down slightly. All around. Same thing over here. And the tip of the toe. Or the booty or whatever the make-in shoe is. Does move. Oh, it does go all the way down like that too. And as usual, an incredibly articulated figure. I wouldn't expect anything else from SH Figure Arts, but uh, let's check out the accessories next. Okay, here's the face that he comes equipped with, straight out of the box. Here you go, you have this charging up, angry, looking to the side face with the veins on his head and all that. Presumably uh, for the special beam cannon's face, which is identical, almost identical to the stock face that he comes with. But this one, of course, with the turban wrap. He, of course, comes stock with the fist hands equipped. He comes with these blaster hands, or no, wait, please don't kill me. Grab hands. The iconic special beam cannon hand equipped, of course. And then he comes with the cross arms. And here you have Piccolo in full badass array. Turban, cape, looking as con uh, iconic as hell. Um, looking brilliant, looking awesome. Love this figure. Highly recommend him to anyone, of course. Um, he's not like the standard, you know, all the Saiyans that for the most part look the same or they're on the same Goku mold. Um, he's different enough. And of course, if you're a Dragon Ball fanatic, you have to have them all. So, highly recommend Piccolo. Very awesome. Very well painted. Um, not perfect, but good enough if you could get past, you know, the, the fact that the torso and the legs are two different colors of purple or blue or whatever you want to call it. They're a gorgeous figure nonetheless. Must have in any of the series, uh, in this series. So, uh, that was the review for today. Highly recommend it. And I'll see you guys another day.